Hello YouTube viewers and random Back to the Future fans. Last year I made a review of the Playmobil DeLorean and I loved it so much that I gave it the runner up spot on the top 10 toys of the year video. But I did have a few issues with it, I mean of course I did, I'm me. Primarily that the wheels could fold into flying mode but it didn't come with a Mr. Fusion attachment. People in the comments suggested that Playmobil would be releasing future sets that contained add-ons for the car and it seems they were right. Playmobil have gone nuclear with their Back to the Future line, pun intended, releasing several new expansion packs in order to build your collection. So today I'll be taking a look at some of them, starting off with the Hill Valley 2015 set. Starting off with the packaging, it has no display windows as the set comes disassembled, so instead we get this great action image of the toy with the 2015 Hill Valley facade behind it, and it is displayed nicely in front. On the back we get some breakdowns of the set itself, plus some of the others available in the range. So let's get it built up. So here we have the set in full, and it looks... Decent enough. The main reason why I picked this up was to get the Mr. Fusion pieces to add to the DeLorean, so at long last the wheels folding in option made sense. I should also point out that the instructions are a bit vague regarding this piece. You need to add this yellow section to the bottom in order for it to clip on. Mr. Fusion itself fits over the plutonium chamber nicely, and I really wish it had been included with the car as it does make its debut at the end of the first movie. But hey, toy companies gotta make money, am I right? To be honest, I had no plans to pick this set up, and if it wasn't for the Mr. Fusion, I don't think I would have. I mean, look at the Lake play set. It's kind of basic and inaccurate. I do love the Jaws 19 and Goldie Wilson the Third posters though. They're a nice nod to the movie, but aside from that, there's not much going on. What I was pleasantly surprised by, however, is the police hover bike. I always wanted the flying patrol car from the movie, and the bike is a good substitute for that, especially with the fold-out wings. It even comes with a policewoman figure, which looks like one of the cops from the movie, and her accessories complement the figure nicely. Speaking of the figures, I also appreciate the Griff Tannen figure. Sure, it looks a bit generic, but any excuse to get more of the characters from the film series, the better. The spiked helmet and outfit really help distinguish him, but I am loving the accessories. He comes with the red extending baseball bat, but most importantly, the pit bull hoverboard. I loved this thing as a kid, and I always wanted a toy of it. Who knew that Playmobil of all companies could deliver? It features a raised transparent block that allows the Griff figure to attach to it, which is excellent for both play and display. And talking of hoverboards, the old faithful pink version is likewise included here, with some great attention to detail on both sides, as well as that block allowing a figure's legs to be attached to it. The 2015 Marty figure is also impressive, with that great multicoloured hat and the jacket with the crinkled sleeves where it's been adjusted. And who could forget those Nikes with the par laces? Marty also comes with the Sports Almanac, which is a basic Playmobil piece with a thick top section that allows figures to hold it, but the sticker has replicated the face of the book perfectly. We also get two of these transparent rings, which the hoverboarding figures can be placed onto to give a hovering effect. It's not great though, they don't peg onto anything and they're very delicate, the slightest touch can knock them straight over. Finally, we get 2015 Doc, and this looks excellent too. I love those silver shades printed onto the face, while the outfit contains a lot of detail, including the silver and black wristwatches. As for accessories, he comes with the 2015 barcode license plate, which is in a similar style to the sports almanac. I really think Playmobil missed a trick here, as this should have been a separate piece that attaches to the car, you know, so you could swap it out for the out of time number plate instead of just being a generic sticker. But it's still a nice inclusion all the same. Further to this, Doc comes with a shortened version of his yellow coat, which is used to allow him to sit in the DeLorean. It's a bit of a struggle to swap the coats as you essentially have to take the entire figure apart to add it, but I applaud the thought that has been put into it. Wrapping up the set, we get a lenticular card image of the front cover of the USA Today, uh, sorry, Playmobil Today newspaper cover. This is a really great additional piece, and it's used very effectively to copy the transitioning newspaper cover seen in the movie, albeit with Playmobil figures. While I was out picking up the 2015 set, I also stumbled across this, the 2020 Playmobil Advent Calendar. And I had to pick it up because I missed out on it on its original release, and also it was on offer and I'm very, very cheap. 
Again, this is another fun set. It's mostly the figures that give it its appeal, with four figures from 1985 and three from 1955. We get an original Marty figure, minus his Life Preserver vest and wearing the silver sunglasses. This comes with his guitar, which features a brown rubber strap so you can hang it over his shoulder. You can also get a red pack, which clips onto his back, and the Save the Clock tar flyer, which even has Jennifer's note on the back of it. And talking of Jennifer, we get a figure of her as well, wearing her outfit from the beginning of the movie. She comes with her bag, which doesn't go over her shoulder and instead clips into her hand to emulate that effect and as well as this she comes with a book and a folder. We also get both Doc and Marty in their radiation suits which feature removable face shields as well as a wealth of accessories including Doc's tool bag, his stopwatch and a plutonium rod. Marty offers the video camera, the out of time license plate which is again similar to that 2015 barcode version, the science fiction book the kid at Peabody's farm has and the hairdryer from his belt when he wakes up George. As for the 1955 figures we have Biff Tannen which looks alright, much like the Griff figure, the clothing helps to better distinguish him, but apart from that it's a bit generic. The 1955 Doc is far better, with the white hair and the great detail on his jumper. As a great addition, he comes with the envelope and letter Marty writes to him, and I love the detail on here, as it is actually legible. Finally, we get the 1955 Marty, wearing the outfit from the scene where he escapes Biff's gang on his newly invented skateboard. This has been included as well, and much like with the other boards in these sets, you can clip his legs onto it. As for some of the larger accessories, we get the gigantic amplifier from the start of the movie, which is just a standard Playmobil piece with stickers added on the front and side, but it makes for a cool background display piece for the Marty figure. There is also an enchantment under the sea dance poster, which is freestanding, but there are no George or Lorraine figures to display display it with. Oh well, looks like Biff is going to have to go stag. Last up we have the Twin Pines Mall sign, which of course is reversible, giving us the Lone Pine Mall sign on the opposing side. I also love the accurate times displayed under each sign. But the fun doesn't stop there. Playmobil went all out on this calendar. A full-on facade of the court building and clock tower comes with a set as well. It's just cardboard and has this annoying Back to the Future piece at the side, but apart from that, this is a brilliant little display piece which sets off the collection. Further to this, additional pieces have been added, such as these plastic light fixtures at the sides of the steps and Doc's lightning rod with a bolt of lightning striking it at the top. A rope has been attached to the rod which then attaches to this smaller set, part of the street, with the wire running across from the street light to the telephone pole and offers the fire trails on the street beneath it. How cool does this look? Honestly, where was all this stuff when I was a kid? And to top it all off, we get another lenticular card. This time it's of the McFly siblings photo in Playmobil form, with Dave and Linda disappearing next to Marty. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. If, you know, you, you couldn't tell. So it's really great to see so much of the movie replicated in toy form. While I'm not a massive Playmobil collector, I do have to appreciate the time and effort which has went into these sets. Having said that, I do feel like these are more geared toward kids than adult collectors in my opinion. They're fun but a bit basic for my liking. Aside from the DeLorean, I didn't really want to pick any of these up. There's a reason I didn't go for Marty's pickup truck which has also been released. They're a fun novelty in the end and if you like them, hey, more power to you. I do admit that the courthouse is a great background display piece, even if it's made of cars board and the 2015 set was worth it for the bike, the hoverboards, as well as that all-important flux capacitor. I do wish the DeLorean had been released as one set, one complete set, you know with all the bells and whistles that you could swap out and add on to make it resemble its appearance from any point in the entire trilogy, instead of having to go out and buy all these different sets and getting different bits and pieces that you didn't necessarily want to get in the first place. Speaking of which, they're going to do something similar for the third movie stuff, aren't they? Oh yeah, there it is, the 2021 advent calendar with all the bells and whistles needed to transform the DeLorean into its off-road and railroad configurations. I'll be definitely picking this one up, as I love the look of the car from the third movie, especially with those 1955 wheels and the components strapped to the hood. But anyway, what do you think of the Back to the Future Playmobil sets? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you think they're for kids? Can adults collect these as well? Whatever you think, let me know in the comments section below. And are you excited for the Back to the Future Part 3 advent calendar coming out at the end of this year? You know where to write that. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. You, you know, you know yourself, you know the drill. And I'll be back at some point soon with another video. But until then, mwah, farewell. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. And why not be extra awesome like all of these people and support us on Patreon?
Links are in the description. Until next time, farewell. Farewell.